Hey everybody and welcome to another video. This one is an interesting one because the Moors keep saying that they're the first indigenous people but were they? Because you know we debunk their crap all the time. Well now they're saying they're part of the Native American tribe since we all know that the Native Americans were here first. And that they're part of, I believe it's the Wichita. I could be saying that slightly wrong. But the Wichita Nation, they are supposedly a part of. Well, let's dissect that down, shall we? This is from the state of New Jersey Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness. Wow. That's a mouthful. Wichita Nation, nonviolent in New Jersey. So let me just uh, right click here, interact. Make sure that this is uh, going down there for you guys. Galvin Long, who killed three police officers and wounded three others in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on Sunday, was alleged ties to the Wichita Nation, a sovereign citizen group with members in New Jersey who have engaged in nonviolent activity. So some of them pretty much already have been violent, which most of them seem non. Members of the Wichita Nation claim to have indigenous heritage predating the founding of the United States. They assert their status as non-citizens immune from U.S. laws. The Wichita, or sometimes spelled Washita are a branch of the Moorish sovereign citizens. Yes, you guys are sovereign citizens. The fastest growing segment of movement in recent years, according to the Anti-Defamation League. New Jersey is has an active Moor sovereign community that includes Wichita Nation members commuting opportunity opportunistic crimes such as squatting or participating in property occupation scams and financial fraud hmm like another one we know hey Don during traffic stop in Princeton in May 2015 an individual with an expired registration claim affiliation with the Wichita Far East indigenous people sorry you're not indigenous In 2014, a self-proclaimed crown prince, Emperor El Bay, Bag Bay, Bag B of the Wichita Native American tribe was charged with use, using fake di diplomatic tags and driving without a license in New Jersey. Little history lesson, if memory serves me correctly, for all you Moors. In order to to basically won't be recognized you still have to have your made up Native American tribe recognized and land granted to you by the United States under those conditions for you to have your own tribal land then you can in a sense do all your normal shit on that land but guess what as soon as you step off that land, ding, 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 you're still subject to U.S. law. The Wichita movement originally emerged in Louisiana and Texas in the 1990s as a single group, but now includes independent groups across the country. Members have created and sold fraudulent documentation and claimed tax-exempt status in New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. The Wichita ideology has been absorbed by more sovereign citizens who splintered from a black nationalist movement originated in the 1920s. More sovereign citizens who prefer themselves as Moors are and often appended by Bay to their names frequently claim special status through membership and tribes such as the Wichita Nation. 
that's just one guys now let's see what Wikipedia has to say oh guess what group associated with the more science of America now this is gonna be just simply my opinion I believe that there may be a radical part of the more science to America because it seems from my perspective at least that the more science temple of America sees it more as a religion than an actual movement you know they follow US law pay their taxes and all that cool that stuff got no problem with that when you start making fraudulent claims scamming people not that other bullshit that's where we have a problem and for Mr. L that was on Chuck's live stream the other day that's why we're targeting the Moors because you make fraudulent claims you scam people out of money you basically want shit handed to you on a silver platter because you don't want to get off your lazy ass and actually work for it like all of us Americans do but let's get back to the video guys who claim to be sovereign state of Native Americans within the boundaries of the United States of America you're not Native Americans sorry their name was taken from that of the Uchata tribe hopefully I said that right who are impenuous of the Wichita River and of Wichita Oklahoma the group was part of the sovereign citizen movement a movement whose members generally behave that they are not subject to sorry give me a second here uh, to any statutes proceedings at federal or state or municipal levels now if you're so-called make-believe now a Native American tribe and you're granted land under that law guess what then you could do all this on your own land and nobody would give a shit but you haven't even gone that far so you're still subject to US law the Wichita nation was headed by a variety Hampton Godson also known as Verdasi Turner also known as Empress Bertasi Tarari Wichita Turner Gibson L Bay who was born 1927 to 2014 she was mayor of Richmond Louisiana in 1975 to 1976 wow only lasted one bloody year then again from 1980 to 1984 that's a little scary actually that a more or sovereign citizen actually lasted that long she's the author of the self-published book return of the ancient ones Gustin asserts that the United Nations re registers the Wichita as indigenous people um, I would like to see proof on that Cl classification in 1999 the Southern Poverty Law Center estimated a group of about 200 hardcore members noting that the popularity among followers of more science a nationalist movement the asserted legal basis for establishment of the Wichita nation is a theory that individual and groups may declare sovereignty and separate themselves from state and federal government a concept earlier used by the posse Katama I'm probably butchering that no, I'm sorry guys the argument is also that made that Napoleon not only sold the streets of New Orleans in a military barracks and that the rest of Louisiana was stolen from the Wichita and that's highly doubtful because there's no proof on that various United States courts have held that the Wichita nation is fictional it is not recognized as a sovereign nation so booyah sorry guys mic drop you're still fucked 
So again, more things that the Moors have stolen from other people. Now my question is, you claim that you made everything, but did you really? Or did you just steal it from other people? I'm almost betting it's the second one. So even governments are starting within our own country are seen through your bullshit. And that's all it is, is bullshit. So if you want to use it as an actual religion, you know, obey the law. We don't have a problem. We'd leave you alone. But you don't. You scam people out of money. Lots of money. And there's where we have a problem. You keep spreading the disinformation. We keep debunking it. And as well as the government. And we'll keep doing it. Until you're either behind bars. Like Sharon. Or like Mr. DeCorey Pitts. And yes, even you, Pauline. You'll have your time. Where you get to wear those lovely silver pieces of jewelry called handcuffs. And trust me, they are not comfortable. Especially the ankle cuffs. They hurt even worse. So, keep doing what you're doing, and guess what? You'll be wearing those, because just like I said to Don, the more shit you guys do, the easier you're making it for them to build a case against you and throw you behind bars. Hope you guys love this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.